So it's really important because right now we've got incredible challenges over the next 20 or 30 years that if we don't get them right, the future of our planet is in serious trouble. We've got population hitting 9 billion by 2050. We've got global health challenges which are not being fully resolved, new epidemics of chronic diseases. And most seriously of all, we have this looming threat of climate change, which will destroy the planet if we don't act. So EAT is an incredible opportunity to address these three big challenges together. Health, population, climate. And that's the big prize that we have before us. EAT is important because it is daring. It is attempting to put together notions that really are interconnected, but that are treated too differently. In, in national and global politics today. What we eat, our health and the climate, they all belong together. And I believe that this is a very important initiative that brings together politics, academia and business. EAT is important for two reasons. Uh, first of all, because it's unique. And secondly, because it's urgently needed. It's unique in the sense that it combines three areas of uh, enormous challenge for humanity looking forward into the 21st century. Food supply in a nine billion person world, climate sustainability and how we move to a low carbon uh, lifestyle and economy, uh, and increasingly malnutrition, both the polar ends of obesity, a, a massive and rising burden, uh, and the continuing challenge of malnutrition. It is really important for me because I'm uh, engaged in health questions and I, am, um, I think the health of people in my own country is uh, very important but, but also for the whole world. And I am concerned about the development of uh, the non-communicable diseases. They are increasing really sharply all over the world. I think EAT is important, not because it can answer all the problems, it would be stupid to think that, but because it's yet another sign that there is growing awareness throughout the world of industry, academia, little bits of government and little bits of the public, civil society, that we can't go on having a food system as grossly wasteful with high environmental and public health impact as we've done. In and developed in the last 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. It can't go on. It's thinking about the increase of the population for the next future. And then if we look at the population, and then th this is a very, uh, co the correlation is very positive with the nutrition. And then if you look to the nutrition, very uh, positive correlation with the health. Each is important to me for two reasons. One, I'm a doctor, I'm a paediatrician, and when we look at health issues in Europe, in the North, in developed world, the main issues for the future are all non-communicable diseases. They are diabetes, heart attack, stroke, and obesity. And they're all intimately related with food, its production, its supply, its availability. So, if we want to improve the lives of children and throughout the life course, we've got to do something about the way we eat. And that's why I find it really exciting. My other hat is I've worked for the last 25 years in Nepal, India, Malawi, parts of Africa, South Asia. And the biggest challenge there in the future, the earliest manifestation of climate change, will be effects on food security. Eat is important because it's a unique opportunity for professionals, for different environments, to come in a dialogue to try to solve some of the most pressing issues that we are facing today as a humanity. I think uh, EAT is uh, really interesting because it uh, combines uh, health and food and also with sustainability, which to me is the real new angle of that uh, perspective. Because earlier on we were thinking about food and health often in terms of in, in our bodies and how we were consuming food and producing it. Now we can connect it also to, to stewardship of the whole planet, our own future on Earth. Well, it is important because it focuses on eating and eating has a diverse range of implications, uh, ranging from the health of populations to the sustainability of the planet. Uh, and most of the initiatives around eating are 
that have to do something or the other with eating are fragmented and different under different um, agencies and initiatives. So it's really good to have a broader based view of things, a more consolidated and holistic view of things. Well, eat is strategically important, particularly for, for two main reasons. The, the first one is the obvious, that our health is determined by what we eat. And we know today by evidence that what we eat determines the stability of the planet. And the stability of the planet, in turn, determines the future of humanity. So there's a very tight interconnectedness between health, food, and sustainability. And the reason why this is such an important issue today is the second rationale, which is that humanity has reached a completely new juncture. We know today that we live in, in the fully globalized world where our environmental impact is actually undermining the very basis for our own prosperity and growth. We know that we are committed to nine billion people where health and food challenges are growing exponentially in the world. So if anything, the whole nexus on food, health and sustainability has come to the global acute attention for human prosperity in the future. So this is the, the kind of logic for EAT, the, the need for integration and the urgency of, of, of the issues.